was a Tuesday in June on a warm summer's eve when Adam D. Davies was ready to leave. From his house he would walk about 300 feet to his neighbor Troy Thornock's home just down the street. The young men from church would be gathering there and Adam was bringing some donuts to share. Nothing about this kind man could be feared except for the secret kept deep in his beard. Come on in. Oh, I've got that new trial powder that we were talking about. Oh, thanks. It should help reduce the inflammation of those mosquito bites. Everyone says it works like magic. Shrink swelling on contact. Great, what's in it? Yeah, they say it's some kind of extract from a new plant they found in South America. Is it safe? Well, it's still in the trial phase, but all the reports have been positive so far. And just remember, it's for external use only. Got it. So I see you brought some donuts for the young men tonight. Yeah, I don't think they can last the night without sugar. Well, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. If you want, you can just set those on the table and I can show you my new surround sound system. Oh, sure. Hello? Doesn't look like anyone's here. They said seven o'clock at Troy's house, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. Are those donuts? Guys, we can't just invite ourselves in. You're right. How rude of me. Hunter, would you like to come in and have some donuts? Sure. And may I join you? Sure. There, now we didn't invite ourselves, we invited each other. Guys, I really think we should wait till everybody gets here. The donuts are calling to us. Can't you hear them? Calling to you? McCaden, McCaden. Mmm, powdered sugar donuts. There's only one thing that can make a powdered sugar donut better. More powdered sugar. Hey, what's this? Could it be more powdered sugar? I believe it is, Kaden. I believe it is. Gentlemen, call it destiny, call it fate, but I feel like tonight was meant to be. They sprinkled some powder and sprinkled some more, but all unaware of what was in store. Guys, I really think we should wait. Oh, whatever. Gentlemen, could we have a moment of silence? Let us remember those who made this night possible. Hostess, Little Debbie, and other cheap snack cake companies who prey on the weakness of those addicted to empty carbs, sugar, saturated fat, and yellow dye number five. Here, here. Wow, what was that? I think it was the extra sugar jolting our brains. Wow, how did I miss that? Miss what? The giant donut in Troy's living room. Oh, crud. What? This is bad. I mean, seriously, look at the size of that donut. This is very bad. 
What are you talking about? Look around you. What do you see? A giant donut in Troy's living room. Caden, that's not a giant donut. What are you talking about? That thing's huge! Caden, the donut is regular size. We've all shrunk. How is this even possible? Hunter, that bottle of powdered sugar that you found, was it really powdered sugar? I don't know. You mean you didn't actually read the label? Uh, read? Your expectations of us are way too high. Does anybody see the bottle? I think the bottle's up there. Anti-itch powder. Reduces inflammation and shrinks swelling for external use only. And we just consumed half of the bottle. Wow, that stuff worked great. All my mosquito bites are completely gone. Fantastic, Hunter, but we have a bigger problem. We're half a centimeter tall. That's gonna make basketball tryouts difficult. You think? McCaden, how could you let this happen? Me? I tried to tell you guys to wait before eating the donuts. Well, apparently you didn't try hard enough. What? That's okay, I forgive you. Besides, pointing fingers isn't gonna help our situation, McCaden. <laughs> What was that? I think that was the doorbell. Welcome. Sorry, we're running a little late today. Oh, no problem. Besides Adam, you're actually the first ones here. Really? I thought the other boys would be here by now. Well, I haven't seen them so far, but come on in. Adam brought donuts. Oops, we don't want to leave this on the table. Brother Thornock, help, we're down here. Brother Thornock, Brother Davies. I don't think they can hear us. Kyle, you should have a donut. I would, but I'm allergic to powdered sugar. Really? Oh yeah, just a little whiff. Sneeze for hours. Just a little whiff? Huh, what's Kyle doing? He looks like he's... Like he's going to sneeze. Everybody, get down! He's gonna blow! Hold on! To what? So sorry. Troy, do you mind if I use your bathroom? <laughs> Where are we? I think we're in Adam Davies' beard. Cool. What? I wonder if anyone can hear us now. If they couldn't hear us before, they definitely can't hear us now. Eh, let me try. Hey, Adam! Just to let you know, your beard is really disgusting from inside here. It's like somebody planted a dark forest at the city dump. Who said that? He heard us, but that's impossible. It's hey, us. Adam! We're in your beard! It's Adam, us. Look down here! We're, Adam. Here. We're in we're your beard! Who is this? Who's speaking to me? Hey man, I think we're freaking him out, man. Hey Adam, sorry about the Dark Forest City dump comment. It was inappropriate, and McCaden says he's sorry. Well, I... Shh! shh. McCaden? I must be losing my mind. You're not losing your mind, Adam. It's us, Hunter, Caden, and me. We're stuck inside your beard. 
We accidentally ate some kind of shrinking powder, and then Kyle sneezed us into your beard. Shrinking powder? Oh, you must mean the clinical trial powder. You guys ate it? McCaden said it was sugar and to put it on our donuts. Well, I didn't say that, it was... So you thought the powdered sugar donuts didn't have enough powdered sugar? So you added some more? And then accidentally shrunk yourself? Nice. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm talking to my own beard in Troy's bathroom. Hey guys, something's come up. Um, I gotta leave. Troy, do you have that bottle of powder I gave you? Sure, it should be right behind you on the counter. Why? Um, it might not be as safe as I originally thought. Uh, I gotta go. Is it something we said? Dude, you just sneezed in his face. Well, I guess we might as well get comfortable. I have a feeling we're gonna be here a while. I'll go see if I can round up some firewood. Hunter, we're in Adam's beard, not Boy Scout camp. I don't think Adam wants a fire started on his face. I wonder if there's anything to eat. What? It's a legitimate question. What was that? I don't think we're alone. Well, who else could be in here? Who? Or what? Hello? 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 Who are you? We're Beardians. Great. You got anything to eat? What? It's a legitimate question. I'm McCaden. And this is Hunter and Caden. We're humans. Oh, we know what humans are. We've been watching you for years. You have? Oh, sure, but I ain't never seen you so small before. We got shrunk. Shrunk? Well, that's something, ain't it? Do you have any idea how we can get back to our regular size? Ruby slippers. What? Ruby slippers. You click your heel three times and they whoosh you back home. Really? Nope, not really. Saw it in a movie once though. Wizard of Oz, great flick. You've seen movies? Kid, we see everything you see. In this beard, we can see your whole world. But now that you're here, you can see our world. Follow me. Check this out, boys. Yeah, looks great. You guys got anything to eat? What? It's a legitimate question. Adam, aren't you going to work today? Uh, no, not today. Adam, this is the third day in a row you've missed work. Is everything okay? Everything's great. Are you feeling okay? Oh, what's that smell? Is that you? Have you showered lately? Aren't those the same clothes you've worn the last three days? Um, I'm just in the middle of trying to figure out something that's really important. It's just been difficult to find the time. To shower? Hold on. Hello? Yes, he's here. Really? You're kidding. Well, I'll talk to him. Yes, I'll let you know if we hear anything. McCaden, Hunter, and Caden haven't been seen since Tuesday. Their parents said they went to Young Men's, but no one has seen them since. Really? Well, that's weird. Yes, it is. Adam? Huh? You didn't see the boys on Tuesday, right? I definitely did not see them on Tuesday. Although I might have heard them. What was that, Adam? Um, nothing. Adam, you don't know where the boys are, do you? Uh, me? 
Adam. Yeah? Where are the boys, Adam? Okay, look, Melinda, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but they're in my beard. Adam, this isn't funny. The boys are missing and their parents are concerned. Melinda, I'm not joking. They're in my beard. Look, all I know is that Tuesday night, I gave Troy some new powder for his mosquito bites that is really good at shrinking swelling. And it's for external use only. The boys must have thought it was powdered sugar and sprinkled it on their donuts. It shrunk them to microscopic size and then Kyle sneezed them into my beard. The boys are in my beard. That's why I haven't showered. That's why I haven't gone to work. That's why I haven't changed my clothes for the last three days. I can't risk accidentally washing them down the drain or tossing them in a laundry basket. And the research you're doing is for... I'm trying to find a way to reverse the effects of the powder so I can bring them back. Do you understand? Yes, Adam, I think I do understand. You have completely lost your mind. Melinda, I know it sounds crazy, but I can hear them. In my head. Adam, I'm gonna call someone who can help you. Melinda, no, look. Adam, I love you, but if you really believe what you are saying, you need help. Oh. What's this? This is how we see what you see. Wow, this is cool. We can see everything Adam can see. Well, at least we won't die of boredom. Huh, nice view. All we need now is something to eat while we watch the Adam show. You can eat these if you're hungry. Huh, what is it? We call them flaky flakes. What are they? You humans call them dandruff. What? Tastes like potato chips. Adam? Someone's here to see you. Hmm? Look, honey, isn't it nice? The teachers are here to see you. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. Maybe you guys can talk some sense into him. Hey, Adam. How's it going? I'm doing good. Yeah, we haven't seen you since Tuesday night when you left. I thought you must be really mad at me for sneezing in your beard. No, it's okay. Actually, Kyle, I need to thank you. If you hadn't sneezed in my beard, I would have never known that Caden, Hunter, and McCaden had been shrunk. We might have never found them. Kyle, let me handle this. Adam, have a seat. So you're telling me that you haven't showered or changed your clothes in the past three days because you think Caden, Hunter, and McCaden are in your beard? Trace, they are in my beard. I've read about cases like this in my AP psychology class. There's only one way to cure them. We have to shave the beard. Wait, what are you guys doing? Brother Davies, it's for your own good. Shave the beard, shave the beard, shave the beard, shave the beard, shave the beard. Wow. That escalated quickly. Shave the no, no, you can't do this. Adam, you have to listen to Trace. He's in AP Psychology and he has an A in the class. <laughs> Guess that qualifies him in my book. Shave the beard. You guys don't know what you're doing. Huh, just looked like they handcuffed Adam to a chair. And now they're gonna shave his beard. This should be entertaining. You idiot, we're in the beard. We have to find a way to let them know we're here. You have to believe me. If you shave my beard, the boys will be lost forever. We'll never find them again. Hmm. Wonder why it died. Whew. 
It came undone, but I found this extension cord. Oh, thanks. There we go. Oh. Shave the beard, shave the beard, shave the beard, shave the beard. We're running out of time. Everybody, shout as loud as you can. We are here, we are here, we are here, we are here. Shave the beard, shave the beard. We are here, we are here. Shave the beard. We are here. It's not working. They just can't hear us. What are we gonna do? It was nice knowing you, Flaky Flakes. It was good while it lasted. You humans are going about this all the wrong way. You're too small for them to hear you with their ears. They have to feel you with their heart. Come on guys, sing! Wait, what's that? Is that music? Is your beard singing? Is that them? It's Caden, Hunter, and the Caden. I think they're singing in his beard. My husband isn't crazy after all. Wow. I'm glad we didn't fall through and shave those guys into oblivion forever. Yeah, that would have been awkward. I tried to tell you. So, how do we get them out of there? I've been trying to figure it out for three days. What about that stuff over there? Beard grow, it just might work. Boy, am I glad to be out of there. The feeling is mutual, boys. The feeling is mutual. Hey, uh, does anyone have anything to eat? What? It's a legitimate question. <laughs> And so they rejoiced and ate donuts unpowdered. And Adam had finally taken a shower. And though their adventure had seemed a bit weird, they'd never forget what they'd learned in his beard.